Now, a historic wall that divided Nottingham's old market square for 700 years has been recreated for the public to see in augmented reality. The two sides had different laws, had sheriffs and administrations, although pedestrians were able to pass through the area freely. Hannah Bateman went along to find out more about this app. This wall divided Nottingham's Anglo-Saxon and Norman populations and is the app's main feature. It also includes a reproduction of the Malt Cross located at the corner where Debenhams once stood. Jin Ray is one of its developers and says we should take advantage of technology to educate ourselves. One of the things, we live in an age where technology is at our fingertips and starting to understand terms like virtual reality, augmented reality, is starting to become a little bit more common. To create a, um, a, a part of Nottingham's rich history as something that is accessible from your mobile phone using this emerging technology of augmented reality, it's a great way of anybody being able to access and understand and see what Nottingham used to be like. Dr Andrea Manetta wants to expand the app to cover more areas around Nottingham in order to provide an alternative to regular museums. He says we need to up our game in the way of understanding our heritage. The aim is to use this project as a pilot project and to have more funding for a larger project that is called the City as, as Museum. So to create the Museum of Intangible Heritage in Nottingham where you could go around the city and find out uh, in three dimension um, elements that are uh, completely gone, uh, disappeared and uh, hidden maybe, including maybe the, the caves. So with your phone you can look around and see uh, all this incredible past uh, revealed for the audience of today. Jin believes that augmented technology is the way forward to get more people enthusiastic about the local history Nottingham has to offer. The technology adds animations to your phone camera. Fundamentally, if we're able to gain more exposure and more value based on our, our history, our heritage, our, uh, where we live, I think that's a really good point in, in enhancing our lifestyles. And I think there's, there's, I know there is going to be a lot more of this happening in the future as museums become a lot more accessible through virtual reality, through you know, putting on a headset and you're somewhere else completely. Um, so the idea of doing that through an app with augmented reality it is, it is definitely going to be the future. The app is currently only available on Android devices, but the creators are hoping to change this very soon. Hannah Bateman for Knotts TV.